Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're at the Minneapolis Institute of Art. Thought we should come down here and check out this uh, item called Art in Bloom, where people will put on different art displays made out of flowers uh, based upon their inspirations of some of the art pieces. So they'll pick out some of the art pieces within the galleries and then they'll make a floral arrangement based on their interpretation of the art. So let's go check it out. The, the museum is huge. Uh, we won't see, be able to see everything. But let's go see what we can see. Let's go check it out. So here's some examples of, they've got this roses bouquet, kind of their interpretation of this guys here. The painting is called Fishing for Sharks off of Long Island. It's an American photo from the 1800s or American painting from the 1800s. It's like they caught themselves a shark. Pretty cool. This is some European art from the 1700s. Late 1700s. It's a choir in a church in Rome. I think it's just amazing the detail they can do on these things. So let's go in here and check out Europe before the 1800s. Sir Henry Radburn. This one's called the Poorly Defended Rose. Oh, she was trying to defend it. Here's another example of a floor arrangement done based upon the painting above. Again, kind of their interpretation of it. it kind of matches it. Kind of the colors match it, you know, the big white in the middle. Kind of matches the, the white in the middle of the painting. And the painting is called The Attributes of the Arts and the Rewards Which Are Accorded to Them. The Rustic Bridge. I like that one. And then here's a view of the Colosseum in Rome. I'm assuming that's accurate to the time, and this says this was done in 1833. So here's another one, floral arrangements, kind of depicting the art. God made the eagle. Another kind of, I think, literal interpretation of it. I think the flower arrangement matches it pretty well. Here's another one. Here's the flower arrangement that goes with it. Most of these pretty match it pretty well. I mean, they're pretty literal, it seems like to me. That flower arrangement is pretty literally the picture itself. Here we have a picture of the Grand Canal in Venice. This was painted in 1740. European art before the 1800s. Different kinds of sculptures in here. 
know what this is. This is... Case for an ink stand. Made out of leather. That's all made out of leather. Wow. Here's another ink stand, it says. Silver, lapis. And this one's called, this is called Funeral Torch. There's a flower bouquet there. how much it matches this. I mean, it's kind of just a smaller interpretation of it, right? You've got this one with the skeleton and the, the torch that would go on top. Over here, you got the flowers representing the actual fire of the torch. That's pretty cool. These are items from the 16th century in Europe. It's a little bit different than the 1800s and 1700s style. It's pretty cool to see how the art changed from like the 1600s, which is like this stuff, which is more mystic and goddess and things like that, to how the art was in the 1700s or the 1800s where it was more, I don't know. Do you see how their ideas change over time? Pretty cool. You can see down to second level from here. Let's go take a look over here from the balcony down too. Back on the other side. There's a large flower arrangement on a fountain down below. And then this is stuff from like the 1500s. So we're going further back in time. You can just see the differences in the styles. Here's another fire arrangement. I think it's another little interpretation of it, right? There's the painting. It's called Six Tuscan Poets. And then here's the flower arrangement of it. And I'm guessing there's probably six roses on this to represent the poets. Let's see, there's one, two, three there. And there's one, two, three on this side. So, again, I would say a very little interpretation of the painting. We're going to make our way down to the second floor and look at more of the uh, Asian art that's down here, as opposed to the European art we just looked at. Here's the fountain on this level. Very pretty. of a Buddhist mountain made out of jade. 
There's a floral arrangement over here of it. It's a big piece of jewelry. So that's the Jade Mountain itself. And then here's the full arrangement of it. Excuse me, sir. Here's the full arrangement. Kind of matches it. Very cool. Hey, look, guys, it's a tablet, a Chinese tablet. This is a Buddha right there. This one back here is the Buddha of the funeral. Look at this ornate entrance into the China area. This is called Two Camels and a Groom from the 6th to the 8th century. This one's called 100 Crabs. And at first I didn't see them, but if you look, like all of these are crabs. And up here are crabs. All these are crabs. They look, they, they look like flowers at first, but they're also crabs. That's pretty cool. This is from 1835. This is a Japanese hand scroll from the 17th century. And this is the ornamental helmet. And then here's the uh, flower interpretation of it. Very cool looking. Here's another uh, helmet with a flower interpretation of it. Pretty literal interpretation I think. This is Wisdom King of Awe-Inspiring Power in the second half of the 13th century. That's the actual piece, and then here's the fire arrangement that goes with it. Also very cool. The pretty swans on this one. There's the interpretation of the flower arrangement. The two flowers represent the two swans. Very cool looking. So there we go. That's the uh, Minneapolis Institute of Art here in Minneapolis. I want to thank everybody for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. Give me some comments. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys next time.